In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 Hunami Concord connection error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do enjoy this video and it helps you out, then help us out by subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this. So the first thing that we want to do is just ensure that the Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 servers are currently online. Because if they're not, then you're going to get a connection error. So to do this, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below and you will then end up on a page that looks like this. So as you can see on my screen at the moment, it says Modern Warfare 2 Online and Warzone 2 Online. If you do not see these games here, then you can click on Select Game on the drop down list and you can then select each one to then check the status. So once you have checked and you can see the online services are online and they're working absolutely fine, then the next thing that we want to do is just close down the web browser and you now need to right click on your network adapter and you then need to go to open network and internet settings. Once you've done this, you need to click on change adapter options and you then need to right click on your network adapter and go disable and you then want to right click on it again and go enable. This is now going to reconnect to the internet and just give the adapter a refresh. Once that's finished, go ahead and try the game again and see if that helped. If that did not help, then you now need to close this all down and you then need to open up the start menu and we now need to type in CMD. You then need to run command prompt as an administrator by clicking on run as administrator. And we now need to type in the following IP config. We then need to do space forward slash flush DNS and then enter. Once that's finished, go ahead and close down command prompt and now launch up Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone and see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing that you want to do is right click on the network adapter again. And this time we want to click on open network and internet settings. And we then want to click on change adapter options. Next, you need to right click on your network adapter and then go to properties and you now need to select internet protocol version four and then go to properties. Next, you need to click on use the following DNS server addresses. So as you can see, mine is currently filled in. So if I just clear that off and then select it again, you then need to go one and then click onto the next empty space and go one, one and then one. So you should now have four ones. This is going to use the Cloudflare DNS. I will pop a link in the description below to the Cloudflare so you can read up a little bit about the DNS, but basically this can help resolve that error. So once you've done that, click OK and then close and now restart your computer and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then you can just right click on the network adapter, go back to internet protocol version four properties and then obtain DNS server address automatically and then click OK. Once you've done all that and if none of that helped, then the next thing that you can do if you have the option is if you have a wireless adapter on your computer, then use that instead of your cable adapter. Or if you use a wireless, then use cable. Just in case there's an issue there with either the wireless connection or the cable. Also that brings me on to if you have someone else in your household playing Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 at the same time as you, then this can also cause the error. So try playing the game when they're not playing it and then see if that stops the error from happening. And if it does, then use a wireless connection and then the other user uses a wired connection. If you're also going through a hub or network adapters or anything like that, make sure that both connections are going directly to your ISP router. If none of that helps, then the other thing that you could do is try using a VPN service if you do have the option. There's many of them out there, but unfortunately you do need to pay for a lot of the VPN services. I will pop a link in the description below to a VPN service that you can use. And if you do go through and purchase it, then we will earn a small commission from that purchase. So if none of that helped, then the next thing that you need to do is open up either battle.net or Steam depending on where you purchased the game and where you're playing it from, as we now need to verify the game files. So first I'm going to show you how to verify the game files in Steam. As you can see, I've got it open. All you need to do is find the game in your game library. So select library, right click on Call of Duty, go to properties, and you then need to go to local files 
and you will then see the option to verify the integrity of game files. You need to click onto this option and it will then begin to check if there are any missing or corrupted game files. If it does detect an issue, then it will fix and replace those files. And as you can see, Steam did actually detect that 38 files failed to validate and will be reacquired. So for Battle.net users, once you have the app open, you then need to click onto Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2 in your games area, and you then need to click onto the settings cog, and you will then see the option for scan and repair. You now need to click onto this option and then click on begin scan. And again, this is just going to check to make sure that none of the files are corrupted or miss it. So if verifying the game files didn't fix the Qunami Concord error message that you're getting when trying to play Warzone or Modern Warfare 2, then the next thing that I'd suggest is to ensure that your security software is not blocking either one of the games. So if you do have a third party security program installed, then it could likely be blocking the game from being able to connect to the internet, which would then cause the error message. So either disable the security program, but just keep in mind that you might not be protected from security threats when you do this, or a lot of third party security programs have a passive or a game mode option, which you could then enable, and then that should hopefully resolve the issue. To ensure Windows Defender is not blocking Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone, we can do this by opening up the start menu and then typing in Windows Defender. You then need to click onto Windows Defender Firewall. If you don't see the option, then just type Firewall onto the end as well. You then need to click on Allow an app or feature free Windows Defender Firewall. You now need to find Call of Duty in the list, so you can click anywhere on the list and press C. And as you can see, I've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which is there and it's got the ticks next to it. So if you do not see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which is also used for Warzone, then you need to click on to change settings, allow another app, and you then need to find the game on your computer and then click add and then tick the two boxes. Once you've done that, click on OK and you can then go ahead and launch Warzone and that should have resolved the issue you've been having. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do and I will add more methods to it if I can think of any that will help fix this error that you've been having. If unfortunately one of the methods didn't help in the video. So if you did like the video, click the like button below and if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.